All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're back in the ROG workshop for a change of scenery, I guess. It's so nice, actually, very compact. Everything's so close together, I love it, it's great. Uh, all right, so today we're gonna do something a little different. This is actually something I've been thinking about for a while, but I haven't done. Uh, we're going to see how quickly we can build a computer in PC Building Simulator. Um, now, there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna do to set that up, which is one, we're gonna go into free build options. You guys ask about this all the time. How do you screw in stuff so fast? How do you do all this stuff so fast? This is how, free build options. So the auto connect, auto connect tool uh, connects cables quickly. The quick screw tool, you guys ask about that a lot. Uh, it makes me, it allows me to screw in things very quickly so I don't have to sit there and watch me turning screws the whole, the whole time. Uh, the auto standoff tool puts in standoffs for the motherboard. Faster installation, I guess just puts it in a little bit faster. I'm actually, it's been so long since I've played with I out that I don't even know what, this, what it is. Uh, the auto screw tool automatically goes through and screws everything together and the auto cable tool auto, uh, cables everything. We're gonna turn all of those off today. We are getting no assistance, except the fact that this is a video game and it's much easier than real life. We're getting no assistance. So we're gonna build, uh, we're gonna see how fast I can build a computer. And to do that, I've built this. Uh, this is gonna be our reference computer. This is what we're going to model our little project after. So uh, let's go over the hardware really quick. This is, uh, the case here is an NZXT H700i in white. The motherboard is MSI's MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Uh, and in that LGA 1200 socket is our 10th gen i7 from Intel, the 10700K. Uh, powering that is the EVGA Supernova 850 watt T2 power supply. We've got a couple dims of Patriot, Patriot's Viper RGB white, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. We can just go ahead and take this off and take a look here. Oh gosh, I can't just see. This is what happened. Oh man, I'm so spoiled. I'm so spoiled. <sighs> Oh, I haven't used, like, I haven't played without the auto cable tool in forever. So we've got two DIMMs of, <laughs> of Patriot's Viper RGB, uh, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. The graphics card here is Asus ROG Strix uh, RTX 2080 Super. We've got one M.2 drive behind this top uh, heat shield cover thing, and that is Kingston's KC2000 NVMe PCIe SSD. That's a two terabyte variant. Uh, you can see our AIO liquid cooler here is N60's Kraken Z63. And the fans that are pre-installed in this case are all we're just going to use. And we've got three of the uh, of N60's 120 mil in the front and a single 120, oh, 140 mil in the rear. So those are pre-installed. We don't have to worry about those when we actually uh, do the build for real. So those will all be in there. So that's the build. Okay, so I've got a little note on my other screen of all the parts so that I'm ready to roll here. But the plan is I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna build it as fast as I can without any assists on. And it doesn't count. We don't get to stop the stopwatch until we hit the post screen, uh, which is actually gonna be this. And then it's gonna say no OS found. And that's fine. So as long as we post and it says no OS, OS found, we're good. We're gonna call it, we're gonna call it good. So. That's the plan. This is the build we're gonna build. So let's get some stuff out of the way. I guess we can move this. Oh, this, this is actually a build. Oh, this is a secret build. You will maybe be seeing this build in the future on a, on a different channel and a, more, more in the future to, to come on that all. That's, a, that's my teaser. That's, I'm gonna leave it right there. So, okay, let's do it. Oh, and I have to put the case completely together. So that's important. So the only things when we go into Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much, there's gonna be so much screwing. That sounds weird. There's gonna be so much turning of the screws. Uh, so so basically when we go to finish, the only PC parts that can be available to install are gonna be the PCI covers, which I had to remove to install the two slot graphics cards. So uh, everything has to be installed, dust filters, all the panels, everything, back panel, front panel, everything. So that's the plan. And again, until we actually post successfully. So that's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna run a stopwatch for myself here in real life, in real, I don't know, on my phone, uh, but I'll also overlay it over the video so you guys can keep track of how we're doing. Uh, I have no benchmark for what is good, what is bad. I have no expectations, but we're gonna do it and we're gonna see how fast I can go. It's gonna be faster than I can do it in real life by a massive margin, I can tell you that because real life is hard, games are easier. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I gotta say, being efficient in the inventory is gonna be a big part of what helps us go fast here. So I'm, uh, I guess, prepared sort of to do that. So 
Uh, I'm basically going to start it when I say go, and then we're gonna we're gonna just dive right into the inventory and we're gonna go for it. Okay? So ready? I'm scared. I'm scared. Ready, set, go. Stop or just start it. Okay, inventory. Uh cases. Oh god. Oh god, this is stressful. I shouldn't do I, oh my gosh. 700 i in white from nzxt here we go oh my gosh dude this is crazy actually like when you're under the gun my brain is already functioning at a at a lower level than it was i know that, that's impressive okay let's do that we're gonna pull the back panel off we're gonna pull we do not need to pull the front panel off no we're not gonna need to pull the front panel off okay let's go straight to motherboard and i said msi uh 490 uh gaming carbon wi-fi okay so we do not have the auto standoff tool, so now we have to install all nine standoffs needed for an ATX case. And uh, a lot of cases come pre-installed with ATX standoffs. They, they come pre-installed usually with ATX standoffs, uh, but in this game, they don't. So we're gonna put all these standoffs in and then we're going to screw all the standoffs. Uh, we're actually gonna secure the motherboard to those standoffs, so. That's a little little tidbit there compared to real life. This is terrible. I, I want the auto auto screw tool back, please. Okay, after this, we're gonna go straight to CPU. Open the CPU shield. Okay, so I think it's a little bit slower because I don't have, we're gonna do fits this PC, please go away. 10700 uh, k 10700 k 107, 107, oh God, oh God, I'm losing time, I'm losing time. Oh, I scrolled right past it, it was at the very top. Okay, 10700 k all right, there it is. Uh, oh, and I got to do my RAM in dual channel. I'm telling myself that this is how dual channel works in this motherboard. There's a good chance that's how it works. Uh, Patriot, we're going to go Viper RGB, 8 gig white, 3200 megahertz. So we're going to go slot 2 and slot 4, A1, B1, I guess. Okay, let's go to uh, AIO. Ugh. I just need the search to clear when I change categories. That would actually be good. Uh, CPU cooling. We're going to go with NZXT's Z63. It's a 280 mil AIO. We're going to top mount it up here, and we're good to go. We got the thermal paste. Well, we're not good to go because we have to screw it on. Oh, my gosh. I'm so spoiled. I've been so spoiled for so long. I didn't even know. I kind of knew. Okay. Yeah, secure it. Yep. This is still so much easier than screwing with an AIO in real life. Seriously, it's so pokey. Okay. Let's get our SSD in here. Again, we're going with Kingston. Kingston, uh, KC2000. KC2000, we want the two terabyte. So this will be an easy install. Oh, wow, two screws there. Okay, stand off and then screw, that makes sense. Uh, all right, so there's that. Let's get a power supply going. We're gonna remove the power supply bracket and it's four thumb screws. And then we're gonna get to work putting in an EVGA 850 watt T2 power supply, which is right here. Get that going, and then we can put the bracket back on. I really need that search to work better for me. Uh, and I'm already trying to think ahead about like, what am I doing next? I've got a graphics card to install still. I've got just a graphics card? Is that really? Oh, geez. Yeah, I think just a graphics card. Okay, let's pull out the first PCI cover and then the second PCI cover, and then we're gonna get to work on our Strix 2080 super super dupa and get that sucker installed with our two screws there. Oh, and we're gonna do white cabling. I forgot to mention that. I'm not sure I have it selected. I do, I already have it selected. So we can go ahead and get to work cabling. And while I'm cabling, I'm gonna be thinking, have I missed anything? Have I overlooked something? I've got a CPU, I've got thermal paste, I've got a graphics card. CPU cooler, the fans were, we were already good on. Um, connecting fans to fan headers, need to click carefully. You can lose a lot of time there. We'll connect one of these and the rest are gonna daisy chain into this top fan. And I'm already thinking, am I missing anything? It feels like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Let's get the case going back together already. This feels so fast. I actually feel like I moved, oh, there's no thumb screws to hold that on, okay. Uh, uh, top panel, top panel, please, it's, uh, top, top, top panel. And there, install, thumb screw. Is that everything? I feel like I missed something. Have I missed something? I should have looked at what the total build price was. And cable, I can't, I can't have the quick tables, cable tool. I've got to actually manually connect all of these cables. Power supply, we've got USB and another USB and power. 
And no S found, no S found, no S found, no S found. Pause. Okay. Four minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah, four minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and now get an OS installed and just make sure like, you know, it actually works. Okay, so everything looks okay. Uh, it looks just like our other computer. They are twins. Look at that. Uh, if you wanted to know how a benchmark looked on uh, a computer that I built very quickly, both a 10700K and a single 2080 Super. It looks like a 10755, which is a 10672 on the graphics and an 11258 on that CPU. Uh, temps are pretty fine. 64C topped on the CPU, which you can see there on the AIO from NZXT, and uh, only you know 54C on the graphics card. So. There you go. Uh, it actually, I feel like under five minutes was maybe better than I was expecting. It came together quickly and uh, it was kind of fun. So, hey, if you want to, I mean, I don't know, if you want to try to like rebuild this computer and show me how much faster you can do it, I'm sure you can beat me. There were definitely lost seconds in there. Uh, but yeah, that's how fast I can build a computer with one, that was only one try, one take uh, in PC Building Simulator. I can tell you in real life, it would be much slower. Much, 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 much slower. I think the AIO alone would take me significantly longer, well, longer than this entire video took. So uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed that. And if you wanna see more videos like this, a PC Building Simulator or any of the other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.